Hello everyone, welcome back. This is a live recording of a 50 minute full body flow. So find a little bit of space to move. I do use my block as a pillow a little bit today if you wanna grab an actual pillow or anything at all to rest your cheeks on, that would be nice. Um, we've got Gus and Bo joining us today. So find a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So we're gonna begin in child's pose and I'm gonna use my block as a little pillow. So if you'd like to do the same, we'll start with our right cheek resting and either on our mats, on a pillow or a block of some kind, maybe on a furry friend if you've got one of those instead. And you can bring your knees out as wide as you would like. You can have your arms reaching forwards or maybe your arms are by your sides. You could also use your arms or your hands as your pillow instead of an actual item. But make your way down into your child's pose and then your right cheek maybe will rest to start. You can let your eyes close. Taking a slow, deep breath in. Slow, deep breath out. And just starting to Ah, let go of your weekend, let go of your day so far. Hmm. You notice if you are feeling some love through your neck here by resting on your cheek. Or maybe it's more your ear if you turn your head a little bit more. Just notice how you're feeling so far today. And if you do have one of your cheeks resting, we can start to switch sides. Maybe it's your cheek, maybe it's more your ear. Whatever is comfortable. Whatever feels good on your neck and then just relax again. Close your eyes if they opened on you and take a nice deep breath in. Deep breath out. And if you've got a cheek down, you might start to switch to your forehead. Maybe you want to rest your forehead on your block or your pillow. Maybe you want it to come all the way down to your mat, but just find child's pose like you usually do. And just continue to settle in. Just feel your breath. Be soften through your shoulders, your hips. We'll stay for just another breath or two. You can let an inhale help you lift your forehead, lift your chest. If you're using a pillow of some kind, you can move it off to the side. We'll make our way into tabletop onto our hands and knees. 
spreading your fingers out wide, maybe giving your hips a gentle sway or rock side to side. And then you might even start to let your head be a little heavier. And you could turn your chin towards your left shoulder. And then kind of let your head get heavy again and maybe turn your chin towards your right shoulder. And then let your head get heavy again. Then take an inhale and start to drop your belly. Lift your chest, maybe lift your chin too as you arch through your back. With the exhale, you can round through your spine, push into your hands, tuck your chin towards your collarbone. Inhale, drop your belly back down. Lift your chest, maybe your chin. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Give your belly a squeeze. And one more breath here. Inhale to drop your belly down. Lift your chest. Exhale as you round. Let an inhale bring you back to a nice neutral place, a long, flat spine. And then you can tuck your toes if they aren't already and lift your knees up into downward facing dog. Taking a moment here to maybe pedal the feet a few times, maybe sway the hips a little. Take a deep breath in, a deep breath out. Maybe you can let your head get a little heavier. You might turn your chin towards your left shoulder again. And then maybe back and all the way to the right one. And then just starting to gaze towards your toes. Let your head get a little heavier. Maybe continue to pedal the feet or be still. But push the ground away from you. Push into your hands. Push into your feet too. Take a nice big breath in. And out. And then let an inhale, bring your gaze forwards. As you exhale, walk up to the top of your mat. Take as many steps as you would like. And once you get there, inhale into a half lift, a long spine. With the exhale, fold forwards, bend your knees. Inhale, coming all the way up to standing. You can reach your arms all the way up. Maybe look up and then exhale as you lower your arms down to your sides. Add a shoulder roll if you'd like. Spread your fingertips wide and with a big inhale, reach on up. Exhale to slowly fold back down. Bend your knees as much as you'd like. Inhale, half lift. Lift the chest, lengthen the spine and exhale to fold. Inhale, coming back up to stand and reach up. Stand up, exhale, arms can fall to your side, shoulder roll if you want one, big inhale to reach up and exhale to fold forwards, inhale, take your half lift, exhale, folding forwards again, inhale, back up all the way, reach up, stand tall, maybe look up to exhale. As you lower your arms to your sides, one more shoulder roll. Big inhales, you reach up, exhale, folding forwards. Inhale into your half lift. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, all the way up to standing, reach up. This time, keep reaching up and let the exhale bring you right back down. Fold forwards again. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. This time we're going to plant our hands. Step your feet back into downward facing dog. You can bring your feet together if you'd like. And then inhale your right foot up any amount. You might try to stack your right hip on top of the left as you turn your belly button to the right a little bit. You might bend your right knee, open up a little more. Push the ground away from you into your hands, into your left foot. One more inhale. As you exhale, place your right foot back down next to your left one. 
and inhale let your left foot start to lift any amount you don't have to try and stack your hip but you can if the belly button belly button wants to turn to the left if the knee wants to bend find your three-legged dog and then push the ground away from you Stay for an inhale. Let the exhale bring your left foot back to the ground. Once both of your feet are touching, inhale to look forwards and exhale. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. Once you get there, inhale into a half lift. As you exhale, fold forwards. Inhale. Come all the way up to standing, reach up. Exhale, let your arms fall to your side. Stay standing here. If you want a shoulder roll, you can take it, but we're gonna do a little bit of balance. So if you wanna hold on to something, you can. I'm gonna stand on our left foot and then cross the right leg in front of the left. So kind of ego legs, you can bend your knees a little. You can use your right toes as a kickstand or you can try and hover that foot. Maybe squeeze the legs together. Find your balance. We're not going to add our arms here. So focus on your legs. Give your legs a little squeeze together. Maybe you've got your kickstand. Maybe your leg is hooking behind your calf or just trying to squeeze towards your calf. Your arms could reach out to help you maybe balance, or maybe you're holding on to something. But think about your legs. Squeeze them together a little bit more. You'd rather have your hands together in front of your heart or your hands on your hips. Find your breath. Give your legs another little squeeze together and then start to relax. You can Uncross your legs, give them a little shake. I'm gonna do this a couple times today. So just focus on the legs. Stand on your right foot. The left leg can cross in front, helps to bend the knees a little. Use your kickstand or hover that foot, but give your legs a squeeze together. The inner legs will squeeze together. Your ego legs. And then whatever your arms would like to do for this first set. <laughs> Take another breath here. Give your legs another little squeeze together. A lot of effort. Try to squeeze those legs together. And then you can relax. You can uncross your legs. Shake them out a little if you'd like. If you did wander from the top of your mat, find your way back. Inhale to reach your arms up and exhale to fold forwards. Inhale, take your half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Step your feet back into downward facing dog. Take a moment to push into your hands. Send your hips nice and high. Let's stay for an inhale. With the exhale, lower your knees down to your mat into tabletop. We can scooch our knees together. And then you might take your right knee and bring it behind the left one. Maybe it can touch down on the outside of that left leg. You can widen your feet here. Or you can try to bring your feet together, your legs together. Think your ego legs. But now we are on our knees. So just a little squeeze of the legs together. Just trying to cross the legs uh, as much as you can. Do these from all different angles today. <laughs> so you can start to relax, maybe widen the feet a little, do what you gotta do so you can uncross your legs. Find your tabletop, maybe a little shake of the hips. Maybe the knees will come back together and then the left leg can cross behind the right one as much as it wants to. Maybe the feet go really wide. Maybe you can give them a little squeeze together. Maybe the inner legs a little squeeze together. See how your hips feel. What your legs allow you to even do here. And then just start to relax so that you can uncross your legs. 
knees next to one another, but they can be hip width apart. Try to rock the hips a few times if you'd like, and then eventually find your way into downward facing dog. So lift your knees up. Send your hips high, push into your hands, maybe pedal the feet a few times, but a deep breath in, a deep breath out, and then use an inhale to look forward as you exhale, walk your feet all the way to the top of your mat as you inhale, lift halfway up exhale folding forwards inhale come all the way up to standing reach up exhale let your arms fall to your sides so we're not going to go for full eagle legs this time but we're still going to stand on our left foot and then maybe the right one Think maybe the ankles crossing more so than the legs you can have a nice little bend in your knees still and maybe you've got one foot in front of the other. Maybe you don't want to cross your feet. You don't have to do that either. But take a moment, maybe hang on to something. Maybe the ankles are kind of crossing. And then if you do want to see if you can tip forwards a little bit here, you can have your knees as bent as they want to be. You can tip a little. Maybe your hands touch the floor. Maybe you stay maybe halfway up. But if your legs are crossed in any sort of way, Give them a little squeeze together, a little squeeze together, and then you're just going to start to lift all the way back up. If your feet are crossed, uncross them, give them a little shake if you need to, and then the right foot can stay down, the left can cross in front. You can kind of decide where those feet want to be. If you don't want to cross the feet, you don't have to cross the feet. Maybe a little bend of the knees, hang on to something, stay standing tall if you want to balancing wherever you are, maybe taking a tip forwards, maybe a nice big bend through the knees. Just experiment, find what, what feels right for you. And then you can start to let an inhale bring you back up. If you're folding forwards, if the legs are crossed, let them uncross, give your legs a nice shake if you need to. Wander back to the top of your mat if you're not already there. Inhale, reach your arms up as you exhale. Fold forwards, inhale, take a half lift, exhale. Fold, plant your hands, step your feet all the way back into your downward facing dog. Push into your hands, send your hips high, stay for an inhale. And with the exhale, lower your knees down to your mat. We're going to cross our ankles and then have a seat with our legs coming out in front. We're going to lean back to start, and then we can take this. We can do a few things. We're, we're trying to make our way into our eagle legs again, but maybe you start with a figure four. Maybe you take your right foot on top of your left quad. Maybe the foot can slide a little further over top of that leg, squeezing the inner legs together. Maybe your toes can try and find the floor beside you. Or maybe you can try to squeeze your right foot towards your left leg or maybe even tuck it underneath. But you're just kind of squeezing the legs together. And then since we're leaning back a little bit here, if you feel comfortable thinking about the upper body as well, take a lift of the chest maybe. Maybe a lift of the chin. Push the ground away from you. Just another breath, and then you can relax. You can uncross your legs, feet side by side, a little rock of the knees, and then you can start to find your eagle legs with the left leg on top. So maybe figure four is good for you. Maybe you can cross your legs a little more than that. The knees can be nice and bent. The left foot might be hanging out to the sides, maybe squeezing in towards the right calf. And then if you wanted to lift your chest, maybe lift your chin, 
Push the ground away from you. Give your legs another squeeze together. Just one more breath. And then you can relax. You can uncross your legs. Just bring your feet side by side. Maybe give the knees a hug or rock side to side. And then just cross your ankles so that we can roll over onto our hands and knees again. Find your table top. Once you're there, spread your fingers out wide. Maybe give your hips a gentle rock side to side. So let's leave our legs for a second. We're going to move our hands closer together. Maybe you will start to walk your right hand in front of the left and then try and cross your arms. Maybe it's your wrists. Maybe you keep walking your hands out wider with the arms crossed. See how close you can get your arms together. See how wide maybe you can get your hands. So we've done this shoulder thing before. If you do want to go down into that stretch, you can try to bend the elbows. Bring the forearms down and you can walk your hands as wide as they want to go. Or you could stay lifted. Keep your arms straight, pushing the ground away from you. You don't want to cross your arms. You don't have to cross your arms either. But take a moment. If you're going for the stretch of the shoulders, trying to bring the chest down a little, the arms down a little. It's quite a deep stretch for the back. So you can be nice and gentle. And then we're going to start to make our way back up onto our hands, uncrossing them, and then crossing them the other way. The so left might end up in front or the other one. Maybe you can bring them side by side a little. Stay lifted or maybe try to walk the hands even further away from one another. See how far you can get. And maybe you end up in a nice shoulder stretch. If you did come down, you can slowly start to work your way back up to having your hands back under your shoulders, no longer crossed. Table top. Tuck your toes if they're not already tucked. Lift up into downward facing dog. Letting an inhale. Bring your gaze forward. Exhale. Walk all the way up to the top of your mat. Once you get there, inhale into a half lift and exhale to fold forwards inhale come all the way up to standing reach up maybe look up and exhale lower your arms down to your side so we're going to keep our feet just side by side you can have them as wide as you want to we are going to be coming into another forward fold like before but just with our arms maybe doing something different of course, you can just have your hands on your hips dangling in front of you. But if you want to cross your arms, the right might come over top of the left one. Maybe you hug your shoulders or your elbows. Maybe you come into full eagle arms, trying to bring the palms together. And you can stay standing tall or you can start to tip. Maybe you've got a nice big bend through your knees. Maybe you come like halfway or not even that far. Maybe you come a little further than that. And again, your arms can do what they wanna do or they can be crossed. If you're folding, let an inhale start to bring you back up. And if your arms are crossed right now, let them go. Maybe add a little shoulder roll, a little shake even. And then you can start to cross your arms the other way. So maybe the left will end up on top. Maybe you're holding your elbows, your shoulders, or full eagle arms. Remember, your feet can be as wide as they want to be so that you're balanced. You can stay standing tall. 
You can bend your knees. You can take a tip forward. See what happens. And if you are folding, using an inhale to lift, come back up. Your arms are crossed. Let them go. Let them fall to your sides. Shake it out a little. Shoulder roll if you'd like. Find the top of your mat. Maybe bring your feet a little closer together. But with an inhale, you can start to reach your arms up. And exhale. Folding forward. Inhale for a half lift. And exhale to fold. Plant your hands. Step all the way back and into downward facing dog. Push into your hands. Send your hips high. Take another inhale. With the exhale, lower your knees down to your mat. We are going to find our child's pose if you want your pillow. Grab it if you want to rest on a cheek. Rest on your right cheek first, maybe. Maybe it's more of your ear. Arms in front, arms to your sides. A few moments here, though, and I'll let you know when to switch cheeks. Just let your eyes close and slow everything down. And if you are resting on a cheek, you can switch sides. Mm. A softening through your shoulders. Just feeling the breath. When you're feeling good to lift up. You might rest your forehead down for a breath or two. And you can start to lift. We're going to find our way and just into a seated position. So if you were using a pillow again, move it off to the side. We'll sit down. We'll bring our legs out in front. Our right leg can stay long. Our left foot can find the inner thigh. Taking an inhale to lengthen through the spine. And then with the exhale, you might start to tip forwards. You can bend your right knee. You can keep the legs straight. It's the forward fold. Towards that right leg. You are tipping forward. You can start to lift again. And we might turn our chest towards our left knee a little bit. We might take a tip towards the right leg again, kind of leading with our right shoulder. But before you go there, you could also take your left hand, maybe to your left hip, or your low back, or maybe it can find your right hip. But you can tip over 
a little towards your right leg, keeping the chest open towards the left side. If your right hand needs somewhere to go, maybe it's on top of your left leg. Maybe it's reaching towards your right foot. You're going for the side lean shoulder towards the right knee. Just keep the chest open to the left so you don't have to tip very far, if at all. You can lift and lower a few times too. Just find your way back up. And if your left hand is behind you in any way, slide it back in front. Take a little shoulder roll if you would like to do so. And then send your left leg out and bring your right foot to your inner thigh. Starting with just tipping forward. Bent knee, straight leg, whatever feels good on your left leg. Folding forwards again, an inhale can bring you back up. And then maybe you'll start to turn your chest towards the right knee a little. And think about tipping that left shoulder towards the left knee a little bit as well. If your right hand wants to move, maybe it finds your hip, the low back, maybe the left hip. And you can stay as tall as you'd like. You can lean as far as you'd like, as far as your body will allow you to lean anyway. Keeping your chest open the right side as best you can. One for that side lean. And take just another breath or so. And then you can lift again and release your hand back in front of you if that's where it needs to go. You can add your shoulder rolls if you would like. Bend your knees. Give them a little squeeze, a little hug. And we are going to lay down on our back. So you can make your way down onto your back. Bend your knees, plant your feet. Maybe give your knees a gentle rock side to side. You can keep your feet down or you can bring your knees towards your chest, lifting your feet up. Maybe you will start by crossing your right ankle over the left one. Maybe you will take your right foot into figure four if your left foot needs to come down or maybe it can stay up. And then, of course, if you want to find your full eagle legs, you can try to squeeze the inner legs together. And then maybe if the feet are really wide, maybe you pull them back in two and you find your eagle legs. Now our feet might be lifted right now, but if you want to bring them down, you can bring them down. You can keep your eagle legs. Maybe it's easier to get into with the feet down. And then if your feet are down, you could also try to lift them up, see how that feels. 
a little harder when the legs get nice and heavy if you're floating the feet. And then maybe to come out of this, maybe we can go back to the ankles being crossed before we come all the way out. So maybe your right ankle can be over top of the left one. And then uncrossing the feet to bring them down again. Take a rock of the knees, shake it out a little bit. Maybe try to connect your low back to your mat. Tuck your tailbone under. Might have to lift the heels up. And then again, if you want to lift your feet, bring your knees towards your chest, maybe you start with just crossing the ankles. Maybe you stay here the whole time. Maybe your feet are down. Maybe they're lifted. You could find your way into figure four though. Another option for you to stay in figure four, left foot resting on top of that right quad. We're going a little further than that. We're gonna squeeze the inner legs together. Maybe the feet, squeezing the feet towards one another too. And then maybe trying to Either lift or lower the feet, keeping your legs like they are. See the difference? Maybe it all feels the same. Maybe it's a lot, a lot of work to keep squeezing the legs together. Hopefully. <laughs> and then you can start to Maybe uncross the legs. Maybe your left ankle can end up over top of the right. And then maybe your ankles will uncross as you bring your feet back down. Take a couple rocks of the knees side to side if you'd like. Give your low back a massage. We're going to be taking our left hand. We're going to slide it underneath our back with our palm facing down. Maybe it's just your fingertips that lightly tuck under your back. But your elbow pointing out to the side. Feeling that left arm and shoulder. And stay laying flat on your back, your knees pointing up, or you can let your knees fall to the left. You want even more than that on your left shoulder, you could start to roll onto your left side more, but just go as far as you need to. If you're feeling something good and you haven't gone too far. You have your right shoulder lifted up a little bit here. You start to bring it back down and then your knees can lift back up too. And then if you're able to take your left hand out from under your back very slowly, reach your left arm out wide, out to the side. Maybe your palm can face up. The arm be heavy. Be still. You can start to reach your right arm out wide too. So both of our arms are reaching out nice and wide. And then our knees are going to tip back over towards the left. Think of a twist. Keep your right shoulder glued down this time, but let your knees fall to the side. One last chance. To do your eagle legs in your twist.
Just one more breath on this side. And then you can lift your legs back up. If they're crossed, let them uncross. Take a moment to center. Maybe a gentle rock of the knees. Move your arms in if you'd like. We will be taking our right hand. Turn your palm to face down. Slide just the fingertips or maybe more of your hand under your back a little bit. Elbow pointing out to the side, palm facing down. Staying flat on your back or maybe your knees will tip over to the right side. And then maybe your left shoulder will lift a little bit. Maybe it does not need to. Slowly coming back, left shoulder down, knees lifting up, and then eventually the right arm, take your hand out from under you, maybe slide it out wide, maybe your palm can face up and let your right arm be heavy, be still. Notice how it feels. Your left arm can start to reach back out as well. It's not already. And then your knees can tip back over towards the right side for your twist and maybe the final, final eagle legs of today. So keeping both of your shoulders connected to your mat. Or just another breath. And your legs can lift out of your twist. Connecting everything back down. Low back. Feet. Shoulders. You want to keep your feet planted, you can, or you can hug your knees back towards your chest. Adding some rock side to side if you'd like. If you'd like to open up the knees, find happy baby. We've been doing a lot of knees close together today, so feel good. It might not feel good, but happy baby if you'd like it. With maybe some rocks side to side. You have your feet lifted, bringing them down. Maybe your feet will come together. 
Your knees could fall out wide if you'd like to make a diamond shape. Letting the hips rotate outwards a little bit. Stay here a little bit longer or eventually one leg at a time can start to move. Send your legs out long, your feet out wide. And maybe do the same thing with your arms. Just finding your way to your Shavasana. You can relax for a few more moments. Slowly, slowly, start to wiggle your fingers, your toes. Maybe your arms will reach above your head for a nice big stretch. Eventually bending your knees, rolling over to one side, Finding your way up and into a comfy seat when you're ready. Maybe bring your hands together in front of your heart. Awesome practice, you guys. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Have a great rest of your Monday, and we will see you guys very soon. Namaste.